First, our top local story tonight. Several defendants answered to criminal charges in connection with what's been called the largest case of farm animal abuse in the Northeast. 27 tenants are all facing charges after more than a thousand animals were found living in horrible conditions on a Westport farm last year. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado is in court for today's arraignments. She joins us now live with more. The Massachusetts Attorney General says the animals living on this farm were in dangerous conditions, underfed, underwatered, overheated, and diseased. 27 defendants now making their way through the courts. No, please. Not guilty. Not guilty. The first group of people accused of abusing animals at a 70 acre Westport farm facing a judge, all pleading not guilty to animal cruelty. Joao and Eddie Diaguiar are father and son, charged with 10 counts of animal cruelty to a list of animals from chickens to sheep to dogs. Court documents say they shared a rented lot on the farm and, quote, animals on this lot had inadequate water and feed. Conditions were unsanitary and dangerous, with animals living amongst an accumulation of feces and urine. Did you abuse any animals? You don't know what's going on, so. 27 people in all were indicted in March after investigators say they found squalid conditions on the farm last July. Some living in manure so deep their hooves were rotting. Many animals were dead. The ones that lived were rescued and taken for treatment. A list of grand jury exhibits we obtained shows dozens of animal hospitals provided records for this case. My personal veterinarian was one of the first people on site. She said she'd never seen anything like this. Westport residents and other local animal activists showing up to the arraignment calling for justice for the farm animals. It, it doesn't ever get easy to cope, I guess, with what we've seen. The, the photographs and, and the details are so horrific. Now, the owner of the farm, Richard Medeiros, is scheduled to be in court tomorrow. He's facing 21 counts of animal cruelty. Now, the other two farm tenants that were arraigned today were Octavio Botello and Louis Pacheco. You'll hear from Pacheco's defense attorney coming up at 6. Live in Fall River with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Kim. Arraignments are scheduled all this week for the dozens of defendants charged in connection with the animal cruelty case at this Westport, uh, Westport farm, which we've been tracking now for nearly a year. And new at six, we're hearing from one of the suspects, defense attorneys. I would assume supporter Steph Machado joins us now live from Fall River, where the first defendants were arraigned today. Four farm tenants were arraigned today. There are 22 other tenants, plus the owner of the farm, also charged, all told, facing 151 counts of animal cruelty. The attorney general says it's the largest case of its kind ever in New England. Charging you with cruelty to animals? Four tenants of the 70-acre Westport farm on American Legion Highway all pleading not guilty to animal cruelty. One of the men facing charges today, Louis Pacheco, accused of abuse to cows, pigs, and a dog. We deny that, that my client ever uh, was abusive towards animals or didn't care for them. Defense attorney Ken Fredette says Pacheco's animals were cared for, but court documents say there was no adequate shelter for any animal and they were surrounded by dangerous and hazardous garbage. I have not heard anyone tell me that he had a sick animal on his property. 27 people were indicted in March after the investigation that began back in July. 1,400 animals found, underfed, stewing in feces. Many were dead. Those that survived, suffering from painful and contagious diseases. I cannot live in a community where systematic animal abuse on a scale this large is allowed to happen. Activists calling for justice and change. What we are looking for in the town right now is some sort of registry of where farm animals are kept so that the inspectors know where they need to go. All four of the tenants that were arraigned today were released on the condition that they not possess any animals. And the owner of the farm, Richard Medeiros, is expected to be in court tomorrow. The rest of the tenants scheduled throughout the week. Live in Fall River with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.